up, everybody? Rob Cash is on the set. Before we get started, any mentioning of any digital asset is not financial advice. You're an adult. I don't have to say the rest. Um, I'm going to be talking about uh, Pundi X in depth. Now, I did a video actually featuring this same article a couple of months ago, but I don't think it was presented properly, so that's why I'm going to go into full detail. It's going to be a lengthy video, so I hope you guys ride with me to the end, and I think this video will be good for people who do not have an understanding of Pundi X's vision, and I think this should actually put some patience back into the people that are invested in Pundi X. And I'm not talking about the childlike people. I'm talking about the people who really, you know, have some idea of what Pundi X vision is. And I think this video will help you see the long-term vision and also give you some more patience, you know, uh, with this project. Because I've definitely, uh, I have 10 toes down, planted to the ground with Pundi X. And especially... After watching the AMA, you know, last night with Zach Chi, the CEO of Pundi X. And what made me, uh, I was actually going to do this video because I was speaking uh, with a blogger for uh, Casino Coin, uh, CS Cookie Monster. And I was telling him I was going to do a, a Pundi X video in conversation uh, Thursday, yesterday, because today is January 3rd, Friday. And uh, with that being said, I was going to do this video anyway, but it really sparked me after watching the AMA last night as well. Because I was going to put it off because, guys, I'm tired. I, you know, I had a long day at work. But uh, I really want to do this video, you know, for people that need, you know, some help with seeing the vision of Pundi X. Now, for those childish people out there, this video isn't for you. It's going to be lengthy. And I'm talking about the people that go, oh. What about the price? What about the price? Because they do this with every coin that they're in. If you don't understand what's going on <coughs> with your project, whether it be the partnerships, the money, <coughs> please excuse me, the money behind the projects, the uh, technical uh, nuances about the project, all those different things, you know, that should be studied and researched about you know, the projects that you put your hard-earned money into. If you don't do your due diligence with these things and then all you cry about is when moon, you know, when this, when that, then this video is not for you. And secondly, during the live stream, and I'm, go I'm going to get to the article, I'm going to get to the video, folks, but I have to break this down real quick. You know, you see people in different streams everywhere, and in the stream last night, it was saying, uh, one guy and one other person was saying, oh, Pundi X is a scam. And they do this with a lot of different, you know, areas and different digital assets. First thing I'm going to tell you, Pundi X, they have partnerships with governments and they are working with regulators. Okay? Just like the corporation uh, Ripple behind XRP. They're working with regulators, government entities, and they actually have government entities, you know, in their corporation now. I'm, and I'm talking about uh, Ripple and XRP. So with Pundi X, they work with regulators. This is not a scam. Please do your due diligence and do your own research even after I share this video with you. All links will be in the description. And again, we're going to leave the children behind, you know. Because dealing with these people is like riding with a child that has to take a bathroom break every five miles, okay? This video and the trip in cryptocurrency, period, is only for the strong and only for adults. <laughs> now that I broke that down, let's move on with it. Okay, I'm going to talk about the FX token allocation with PundiX. And for people that want to know, well, where the token is going and how it's going to be used and how come they're always talking about the other assets in their in their physical products and not their, you know, uh, proprietary uh, token. We're going to get into all that, okay? Now, let's start with this article that come out um, January 17th, 2019. So, this is almost a year old, but very relevant, trust me. Okay, FX token allocation to NPXS 
and MPX Zim holders. All right. Now, dear pundians, mass adoption of blockchain based technology in retail payments has always been the vision of Pundiex Project. We've been steadily building to deliver the vision over the past year. Today, we have an ecosystem comprising of our XPOS devices, XPOS cards, and our new mobile app, the X Wallet. Since last August, thousands of XPOS have been shipped to more than 25 countries. Over 50,000 XPass cards have been activated and more than 60,000 transactions were processed by Pundi XPass devices. And the X Wallet, in less than uh, the first six months of deployment. Now, for people that have done their research, I know you're thinking this is very redundant, but this is great. This is good news, I think, or meaty news for people who haven't done their research with Pundix or is new to Pundix because some people are new, they see something cheap and they just buy it. They need to know the meat and the potatoes of what they are into. Okay, so again, they've deployed, you know, their Xbox device in over 25 countries and they have committed to over 50,000 transactions, I'm sorry, 50,000 XPass cards and have activated more than 60,000 transactions, okay? all within a period of six months of deployment. That's a lot of movement for recent adoption, and Pundiex only been around for two years. Unlike other crypto projects that have been around four and five years, and they don't even have nowhere near the adoption of Pundiex. Let's get on with it, okay? Demand from merchants and customers for instant on-chain transactions combined with our growth trajectory have led us to search for a blockchain that can service a truly global payment network. That led us to innovate a blockchain ecosystem that can deliver tenfold gains in speed, openness, scalability, and consensus. So what they're doing is they're about to build a mainnet, which the testnet is going to be running very soon here in 2020. So that way, because... The Pundiex token is originally built on the Ethereum blockchain. So if the Ethereum blockchain gets bogged down, that bogs down their uh, ecosystem currently. So they're going to be building their own mainnet so their new token can function seamlessly. And that's what's going to speed things up. And we're going to get into how the original Pundiex token is going to benefit, not only that, how you can benefit from the new token. Let's move on. It led us to FX, an ecosystem that extends beyond just financial transactions toward a new path for decentralization to ensure it can operate without relying on any specific individual, organization, and structure. FX coin will become its own native independent currency for facilitating transactions. For for their ongoing support, the Pundiex project and our initiatives, the majority of the FX tokens of the token generation event will be allocated to holders of the original Pundiex token. So now what they're saying is what I just explained to you is that they're looking to get off the Ethereum blockchain, they're going to create their own blockchain, and that's going to make everything much faster. That's how they're going to get the speed, that's how they're not going to be pulled down with all the traffic on the Ethereum network, and creating a new coin on that network, which would be very proficient for what they need it for, okay? And because you're holding the original Pundiex token, you're going to have access to the new token. Now, down here, it tells you how the allocation is going to go. And I did that in a previous video, but again, I don't think I broke it down properly. So that's why I'm doing this again. Now, they're saying 65% of all FX token from the uh, token generation event is allocated exclusively to the original Pundiex token holders exclusively see how you're winning already by holding Pundi X 
Let's keep it going. At the same time, another 20% will be used for the Ecosystem Genesis Fund for developer partnerships, token listings on the exchanges, FX infrastructure service providers, and more. The remaining 15% will go to engineering, product development, and marketing. So now, this is the token generation event in the graph, how they have it broke down. You see here where it says uh, NPXS, well, I'm going to say original Pundi X, you know, the original Pundi X token holders are going to receive 65%, and that amount is going to be 246 million, 92,941 tokens. Now, you can see on the screen how every how the other amounts are going to be allocated and to who. Now, if you look at the total amount of the token generation supply at the 100% mark right here at the bottom, it has 378,604,524. I almost goofed that up, but I'm actually excited about that number. Now, for those that have done their research, do you understand the type of supply that is? That's that's low, at least when it comes to transactional coins, like just say XRP, 100 billion. This is 378 million, Okay. And if you know the token supply of the original Pundiax token, it's high in the billions. I mean, in the billions. I said in the buildings. In the billions. If I'm not mistaken, it's like either double or triple the amount of XRP. Because I don't remember. But still, the, the token supply amount of the original token for Pundiax is huge. This is a drastic drop, okay, for this new blockchain with a new token with the ecosystem that they're building. Now, they're building an ecosystem for adoption already. And I'm trying to give you guys the vision because in order for this to go down correctly, they have to build the infrastructure. You have to build the store first before you can put the sneakers and the clothes or whatever it is you're selling in there. You want to build your customer base first so that way when you open the doors your store your project your company will hit the ground running you want to get customers first with your product you don't want to have a product and no customers i hope you're following me and you're seeing the vision there will be no public or private sales for the fx token now if you're paying attention to y'all to all the information i've been giving you you should be getting excited, because I am. I'm going to read that again. There will be no public or private sales for the FX token. Who benefits and who gets this token first? You. Look at the total supply, 378 million. 246 million will come to us holders of the original Pundiax token first. Because you'll be able to swap them out for the new token. And also value will be coming to the original Pundi X token. We're going to get to that. So again, I'm going to read this again. There will be no public or private sales for the FX token. They're going to be listed. Because remember, they're going to be using the original Pundi X token to help, you know, j- you know, with revenue to be listed on the exchanges. This token is going to be going straight to the exchanges. No public sale, no private sale. These tokens will be available to you first. And the point I want to add is that because they're going to be already generated and going to an exchange, it's already going to have a value placed behind the token. And and, and with this type of supply, I guarantee you that the price of that token is going to be Quite a bit higher than the original Pundi X token. Now, I'm speculating on the price, but just say a round figure of five cents. If it hits the exchange at five cents and you trade it in, just say one million of your Pundi X token for the new FX token. 
which already has a value on the exchange of five cents, you know how much value you've generated for yourself for being patient and understanding the vision of where this is going. Think about that. One million tokens at five cents. You have $50,000. Just speculation on the price of the new generated token. But think about what's going on here. And this is why Zach Chi in the AMA said, be patient. We're building the foundation. He said, you can't get rich overnight. He said, this is not a get rich quick project. We have a process that we're following and we're rolling out and everything has been successful so far. Ride with me. That's all I'm going to say. Let's go further. We, why we can't just have <clears throat> one token. The uses, allocation, and economics behind the original PundiX token and FX coins are fundamentally different. They are different projects with completely different designs working to different timelines. To change the terms of the original uh, PundiX tokenomics would undermine undertakings we made to token holders and the entire economics of the original PundiX token. And similarly, to change the planned tokenomy of the FX token would fundamentally undercut its very purpose as a blockchain. In short, FX is designed to provide increasing token supply to encourage miners. Let's pay attention to this now. In short, FX is designed to provide increasing token supply to encourage miners to support the network and businesses and developers to grow the ecosystem. The original PundiX uh, token, by contrast, has been designed to service a payment network with supply decreasing as its adoption grows. So now, the original PundiX token is going to be burned off with gas and being burned off when it's traded in for the FX token because once you trade it, these tokens are taken out of supply. And it's also going to be the energy behind the FX token and it's going to be burned off as well. Okay, fuel burns. So the supply of MP uh, on the original PundiX token will be decreasing by default going up in value. So you can still hold the original PundiX token and benefit from the value of the new FX token being mined, okay? Because there's going to be an incentive to mine that coin. Because here, here's the thing. When there's uh, work, when work has to be put in to generate the coin, it's going to have a value. To, I hope I can break this down properly because I understand it. I don't know if I can convey it to uh, anyone else. By the coin uh, being mined, you know, people are going to be incentivized to mine the coin. And when it's in demand, oh, God, I hope I can explain this properly. Um, by that token being mined, uh, there's going to be an incentive for miners. So there's going to be a value behind a coin because there's work that has to be put in to generate the coin. And by the coin, the FX coin, uh, being a token of utility, it's going to have value to it. And being that there's not enough to go around, that coin is going to have value. Oh, God, I think I'm just screwing this all up because I understand it, but I don't know if I can convey it properly. So I'm just going to, before I screw it all the way up, I hope you understand what was read just now in this particular part of the article, which I'm going to read it again. Uh, in short, the FX is designed to provide increasing token supply to encourage miners to support the network and businesses and developers to grow the ecosystem. The original PundiX token, by contrast, has been designed to service a payment network with supply decreasing as its adoption 
grows. I hope you understand it from the way they laid it out for you because I screwed that all up. But I understand it. I was hoping to come up with an easier way to explain it to you guys so you can understand it the way I do. But hopefully you understood that. Okay, so I botched that up. You can kill me in the comments for that. Let's scroll down further here. How to receive FX token. All original Pundi X holders will have the option to decide whether and how they would like to receive the FX tokens. 65% of the total FX token generated from the token generation uh, event allocated for the original Pundi X token holders are broken down for distribution as follows. 15% of all original Pundi X holders to stake. Now, I'm not going to read all these different nuances right here, but I'll pause for a second so you, you can look at it right there. And I'm going to link it in the article, but I am going to give you this important piece from the date here. This will be done on March 20th, 2019, all the way up to March uh, 19, 2020, this year. So you have time to get ready, you know, to allocate your uh, 15% for uh, staking. Now, another 45% for converting your original Pundi X tokens for FX tokens. I am going to read this part. Qualified original Pundi X holders can receive FX token by converting their original Pundi X tokens to FX tokens. All the converted tokens will be removed from the original Pundi X token supply. So again, decreasing supply and just to let you know they burned 14 billion uh last last year date starts april uh may 2019 and lasts uh for three months now it says here april 19 but again you'll be able to still be a part of this swap uh march 2020 so you'll be fine Pundi X will not convert companies' uh, original Pundi X FX tokens. The original uh, Pundi X tokens that are converted will also be entitled to the 15% FX tokens distribution, 15% <clears throat> FX tokens distribution right after the conversion. So let me scroll back down here so you guys can see that. So tokens that are converted will be removed from the supply. Now, the last 5% that equals up the entitled 65%, 5% uh, extra bonus tasks for all original Pundi X uh, token holders to claim. All original uh, Pundi X holders, Pundi X token holders, will be able to receive the FX tokens. Date to be announced. A detailed guideline uh, will be provided to help original Pundi X token holders opt in to receive the FX tokens two weeks before the program starts. How does the Function X benefit the Pundi X project and the Pundi X holders? Benefits to the original Pundi X token holders and the broader Pundi X project are direct. For the XPOS technology improvement of speed and scalability. The same way I explained to you about having its own uh, proprietary blockchain with its new token will give it the speed. It will give it the scalability without being bogged down from the Ethereum network. I'm going to read here. For the Pundi X project, the main benefits are twofold. Payments utilizing XPOS and X wallet become faster and the potential applications for payments using NPXS become much broader. So again, we'll have broader use for the actual Pundi X, original Pundi X token because a lot of people wonder, you know, what's going on with the actual token and why the focus is just on the, the physical devices and the other uh, currencies that are on the device. Guys, they got a plan. You just got to do your research, take in the information, and understand the plan. 
take advantage of the cheap price with a great roadmap with lots of partnerships and they're getting it done. Pundiacs don't remain quiet. They give information all the time letting you know what's going on. Let's read here. The migration to a blockchain with much higher transaction capability and a future broader node network than its rivals is an obvious win for the original PundiX token via the XPOS device. Function X allows every XPOS to serve as a node. Now, for people that understand, you know, the crypto space, you know, the XPOS devices, you know, being adopted globally, each one becomes a node, which creates decentralization, no single point of failure. Not only that, making uh, scalability excellent and achievable, okay? Now, that's like having an antenna everywhere for service, just to put it in total, simple, layman's terms, okay? Now, where did I leave off? Okay, with several thousand XPOS in deployment internationally, this will soon give rise to a network to rival the size and scope of Ethereum, the blockchain project currently with the largest spread and depth of network nodes and one which is much greater as we progress toward our goal glo- i mean our global rollout so they're competing with the ethereum network they're building their own network to rival it and by them not being bogged down with all the different things that's going on on the ethereum blockchain the scalability will be phenomenal and it will be great for their customers, the network, and everything else. For a truly decentralized payment provider, such depth and reach equals greater payment speed and reliability. That is invaluable. Yes, it is. Then we have the original uh, PundiX token role in a future ecosystem on Function X. XPOS plays an essential part of the FX blockchain and ecosystem. It pushes crypto towards mass adoption, as well as fueling the adoption of FX blockchain. The original PundiX token is to fuel the XPOS, XWallet, XPass payment transactions on Function X ecosystem. It will also play a huge role in the ecosystem for many payment-related matters, currently on Ethereum and NIM, and in the future on Function X's native blockchain. So the original PundiX token is going to have a lot of work to do, just to keep it simple, with what's being built right now. So we just got to be patient, because the infrastructure is being built, okay, they're building a four-lane highway, and the original PundiX token is going to service every single lane in that highway. Trust me on this. They're telling you right here. For the original PundiX token holders, the above benefits are applicable too, but there is the addition of exclusive opportunities to become FX token holders. A planned allocation of total of a total of 15% from the token generation event will be provided to holders of the original PundiX token to get via staking. A planned future allocation will give the original PundiX token holders a future exclusive option to convert the original PundiX token to FX uh, tokens, which we already went over that. Okay? So now, you understand about the the token allocation, how, you know, why it's important, and how it's going to benefit you as a PundiX token holder. And me personally, I'm going to have both. I'm probably going to put up a, (laughs) definitely a serious bag to get some FX tokens. Because again, it's not going to be a private sale. Remember, it's not going to be a public sale. It's going to go straight to the exchanges. And Pundiax are in great partnership with Binance, okay? I know that's speculation, but they work close hand-in-hand 
with Binance. So I don't see this having no trouble with getting on the original Binance uh, exchange or the uh, Binance US. And just to let you know that the uh, original Pundiax uh, token has US approval for the, uh, for the Binance US uh, uh, exchange. I'm not saying it's being listed just yet, but it reaches all um, uh, United States criteria. So it, it's not banned from the uh, Binance US exchange. So uh, I just botched that all up. I just went 30 miles just when I only had to go one. Um, just to let you know, there's no restrictions for the original Pundiax token to be listed on Binance US. There we go. That's better. Now, with that being said, I don't see the FX token having any issues with being on the Binance US exchange, and definitely I see it being listed on Binance. Like I said, they work hand in hand with Binance. And just to let you know, uh, the original Pundiax token just became, uh, have gotten more pairs today. I think it's paired with uh, USDT now, and it's a trading pair with the uh, CSDC. So there that is. Okay, now we're going to move on to some partnerships and things because the reason why this is important and some of you already know is just a recap, but I'm trying to get you to understand that the ecosystem they've already built coupled with where they're trying to get to in the future because if they have adoption in Brazil, they have adoption in United Arab Emirates, they have adoption in Africa, all these countries that are not saturated with this type of technology. It's actually innovating these places. So they're going to corner the market in these areas. And they also have, you know, a, a, a memorandum. Uh, uh, I'm going to show you the article, damn it. Because I just, I'm just all over the place with that, with my talking. I'm trying to be seamless, but I'm hoping you understanding, you know, what holding the Pundiax token can do for you. In the future, you just have to be patient and just take advantage of the prices. We're going to go on to the partnerships of Pundiac so you can understand the ecosystem that's being built. So you can understand the success that I think that these tokens are going to have. Okay, folks. Now, for those that follow Pundiax, you already know about this partnership and others I'm going to display in this video. But for people that are new to Pundiax, okay, this is new news to you. And I'm just showing these partnerships to understand that the infrastructure that's already built, so you can understand where these tokens and where Pundiax is going. That's why I'm showing these partnerships. Again, this is recent news. You probably know about it already, but this is a recap so you can just really understand the magnitude of what they are building, the infrastructure, the road, the building, however you want to see it, that's being built so you can understand where they are, where they are going because this can't not be successful if you don't understand the infrastructure. Now, I'm just, I'm not going to get into the, you know, entire article. I'm just going to show the base. Did that really just happen just now? Oh, well, we're going to move on with that. Now, sorry about that, folks. Pundiax expands crypto payments to Venezuelan department store chain. Okay, let's move down here. Cryptocurrency startup Pundiex has partnered with major Venezuelan chain Traki, who will now offer Pundiex's blockchain-based point-of-sale devices for crypto payments. Pundiex announced the expansion in the official blog post. Why am I reading that? I'm not going to read that. Let's get right here. Traki's progressive use of crypto. With 49 outlets, Traki is one of Venezuela's largest, largest department store chains. The co-founder and CEO of Pundiex, Zach Chi, said, Traki has uh, been one of the early adopters of cryptocurrencies <clears throat> excuse me, in Venezuela, which highlights its commitment to improve the traditional financial system. 
We hope the XPOS further expands the crypto use cases that consumers have come to expect from Traki. 49 Outlets, the largest department store in Venezuela. They're partnered with Pundiex. Let's move on with more partnerships and adoption so I can show you this road that Pundiex is on. Here's another article of partnerships and adoption. Pundi X drives crypto adoption in the emerging Brazilian market via OTC dealer Bit Capital. Now, for people that are new to the space, that stands for over the counter. Okay, now this article come out August 29th, 2018. And like I told you, Pundi X is only two years old. Pundi X came out October 2017, and unlike some crypto projects out there, they can't even get out the gate with partnerships, mainnets, and all these other things. Yes, the price is down. It's very, very cheap, but the road, the building, like I said, however you want to look at it, is being built. Let's get on with it. Now, I'm not going to get in-depth with the article, but I got to give you the points from it. Brazil is the next destination that Pundi X has chosen to launch its PO, uh, POS devices, point of sale, point of sale devices, and to capture this fast growing and evolving cryptocurrency market. It has partnered with Bit Capital, the largest over the counter dealers in Brazil for cryptocurrencies. Now, right here, I'm just going to go down here because. The video, like I told you, it's going to be a lengthy video, but I don't want it to be unnecessarily lengthy if it don't have to be. Bit Capital would help Pundi X distribute 1,000 XPOS, that's their machine, in Brazil, giving the company a big and growing market to play. The partnership formed a little over a week since the formation of Pundi X's South American headquarters in Brazil. This just goes on to show Pundi X's vision and seriousness for the South American country. Now, let's scroll down here a little bit, down here at the bottom, where it gives you more adoption. Last week, Pundi X, now remember this article is from 2018. Last week, Pundi X signed an exclusive distribution arran arrangement with uh, Montecora Capital for the Colombian market. This is the second major distribution deal since the company announced its South American headquarters this month in August 2018. So they came out the gate getting it done. Keep thinking this is a joke with Pundi X. More adoption, more partnerships. Let's get on with this. Pundi X successfully completed its integration support for Veryphone X990 to enable crypto payments in traditional point of sales terminals. Again, this article come out <clears throat> July 12th, 2019. Now, I got to get a little meaty with this article because, again, people have bad memories and people that are new to the crypto space and are interested in Pundi X might not know about this. So again, bear with me, share your time with me. Let's go on this ride so I can give you this information in this article because I don't want to miss this out so they can get this. Singapore, July 12, 2019, leading provider of blockchain powered devices, Pundi X has successfully completed integration support of its XPOS module on X990 made by US based Verifone, one of the largest providers of traditional point of sales terminals in the world, to allow a wider network of retailers to accept payments in cryptocurrencies. With this integration, shops and retail outlets using the Verifone X990 with XPOS module activated will now be able to process cryptocurrency payments alongside traditional transactions. I don't think you hear me. They will be able to do this alongside traditional transactions. And this company has been around. Take a quick look at it right there. Faster Crypto Transactions, Pundi and Verifone. Now, just to let you know, I'm going to scroll down here. 
Don't want to make anybody dizzy, so I'm scrolling slow, if you don't mind. Verifone consistently ranks among the top distrib uh, distributors and providers of point-of-sale solutions. It has shipped over 30 million products, which range from integrated point-of-sale systems to countertop and pin pad devices to more than 150 countries. Do you see what type of outlet this gives the XPOS software, blockchain, tokens, and everything else? The road is being built. You got to see where this is going. And this company has been around for 38 years. They're not going anywhere. Let's get on to some more partnerships and adoption. Okay, folks, this right here is the Ingenico Group. Now, they're responsible for point-of-sale solutions. Let's get on with some more meat and potatoes right here. I'm going to scroll down. Point-of-sale solutions. I'm just going to read the small paragraph right here at the bottom. Ingenico has led the payment terminal industry for more than 35 years. We offer the widest range of smart terminals, which combine cutting-edge technologies with the highest security requirements and can be paired with point-of-sale management services. Compliant with all local regulations, they enable all cashless payment methods and cater for any industry. I'm going to scroll down right here. Smart point-of-sales. These are their terminals and modules right here. Just giving you a quick look. Now that you've seen that, let's get on how this is relative to the Pundi X group. Here we go right here, folks. Ingenico partners with Pundi X to enable crypto transactions around the world. Seamless crypto transactions, as it says right here on the screen. And you see the XPOS software right on this picture in the caption right there with their software on their device. Already read to you who the company was. I just want to show you the partnerships. And Genico Group, the global leader in seamless payment and Singapore-based fintech firm Pundiex have just announced a major milestone in the global adoption of crypto payments as Pundiex has completed the integration of their XPOS software with the point-of-sale APOS 8.8 devices of Ingenico. I'm putting it all together. You see what's being built. You see what's going on with the token. Are you really starting to understand the roadmap with the infrastructure that's being built right now? And once their mainnet launch and these things become scalable, Man, I, again, I see the vision. Let's get into more partnerships and adoption. Now, Pundi X and Borges Ventures enable blockchain technology rollout in Cyprus. Let's scroll on down, folks. Shenzhen, China, November 9, 2019, Singapore-based blockchain technology developer Pundiex and Cyprus-based artificial intelligence firm Borges Ventures have signed a memorandum of understanding to explore the implementation of blockchain technology for private and public sectors based in Cyprus. We're talking about a country. The signing on November 9th was witnessed by H.E. Mr. Demetrius uh, Saloris, the president of the parliament of the Republic of Cyprus in Shenzhen, China. This is huge, okay? I'm going to scroll further down here so you can get a firm understanding of what's going on. I had to read the first part so you can see that the partnership and what's, you know, what made them cohesive. And now let's get into what they're expecting from this. Powering Cyprus through Function X blockchain technology. Now, they actually have an understanding of Pundi X's roadmap. 
they're not talking about their current their current standing on the Ethereum blockchain. They have a memorandum of understanding and they're going to be using the new Function X blockchain. Are you putting this together? I know we're a long down, we're a long way down the road in this video, but if you've paid attention to what we were going over in the beginning of the video with the roadmap of the upcoming magnet for the Function X blockchain and its token and what's expected, they these people understand it too. They went over it with them. So let's read the title again. Powering Cyprus through Function X blockchain technology. Pundi X and Borges Ventures will work together to identify issues and gaps within different business industries that can be addressed by blockchain technology. These sectors include healthcare, law, fintech, educational tech, shipping, land registry, certifications, charity, and many more. When processes in these industries are taken to blockchain, businesses will have more secure, more seamless, and more straightforward experience, said Joseph Borges, founder and CEO of Borges Ventures. We're excited to work with Pundiex bridging blockchain technology between Singapore and Cyprus and implementing these solutions that will have immense benefits for consumers and citizens. These guys are looking to make an entire country more efficient with all those different sectors. And they're working with Pundiex with its upcoming Function X blockchain. An entire country sees the magic that's going to happen. And you can't? Don't worry about it. Rob Cash does. Let's get on with more adoption and partnerships. Now, here we go again. We're going to talk about partnerships and more adoption of Pundiex. Now, let's get on with it because I have to read this article to you because you need to understand the magnitude of this partnership. Not only that, so you can just understand where Pundiex is going. Let's get on with it. Keep riding with me. Pundiex blockchain point of sale technology to launch in UAE. For those that don't know, UAE is the United Arab Emirates. That is a country. Matter of fact, forget a country. That's an actual region. What are we talking about, Pundiex, being adopted by countries? You don't see where this is going? You don't have to. I'm holding my Pundi. Let's get on with some more meat and potatoes. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is dessert being ate at the same time with this. The UAE Telecommunications Regulatory Authority has issued the Telecom Equipment Registration Certificate required for the full rollout of Pundiex's world-leading blockchain-based point-of-sale technology across the Emirates, also paving the way for wider adoption of XPOS in the UAE, Middle East, and North Africa. I'm going to stop right there just for a second. The XPOS is being adopted across regions, okay, and countries. They see the value in what Pundiex have to offer. They want to be ahead in this emerging technology with cryptocurrency. Not only that, Pundiex are working with regulators. Look at Ripple's template. If you're into XRP, think about Ripple's template and all they have done to lay out the groundwork for XRP. Now think about Pundiex. Tell me you don't get the vision. And don't worry, you don't have to because I do. Let me get more into this article. You need to understand the magnitude. Approval for the XPOS came by way of the TRA certification to Digital Force Pro Information Technologies, NEB, OOC, FinTech, and Loyalty Labs, the first Emirati FinTech and Loyalty Company in Dubai. Our XPOS becomes the first blockchain-based point-of-sale smart device to receive a telecom equipment registration certificate in the UAE. 
More importantly, it opens the doors to larger XPOS shipments to Dubai for deployment with the EBOOC, said Zach Chi, co-founder of Chief Executive and Chief Executive Officer of Pundiax. With the TRA certification, EBOOC will begin porting next-gen technology on XPOS to implement next-gen blockchain-based point-of-sale payment solutions across several sectors. In particular, this rollout will see the implementation of XPOS across several industries, retail, consumer, industries, banking, and finance, etc., across the city, in turn allowing people to pay all related utility bills, school fees, and their daily needs through the -the state-of-the-art blockchain point-of-sales equipment in the fastest, easiest, and most secure fashion using multiple digital currencies and assets, said uh, Abdallah, I hope I'm about to screw this all up, Abdallah Al-Shamsi, CEO of DFP and co-founder of EBOOC Fintech Loyalty Labs. That's a whole lot of meat, potatoes, and dessert right there. Especially if you include all the other partnerships, acquisitions, all these other things. The, the adoption is just if you just if you can't understand the magnitude of what Pundiax is achieving and where they're going to be in the future. I don't want to disrespect nobody, but I think something is just wrong. It's okay if you're not interested, but if you're holding Pundi X, but you're still having fear, uncertainty, and doubt, then that means something's just flat out wrong with you. That's all. I have to say that. Let's move on with just a little bit.